Welcome back to Let's Play Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we now pick up right where we left off. Because I would have noticed that at some point. I dig in this art the surface of the underside of the water. Ow, 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 ow. Stun fucking locked! Ah! Thank you. The Golden Ninja, my old arch foe. This time I am more than a warrior, I am a hero and a legend. Okay. The blue ones are the toughest. Well, oh, that was nice of them. Fuck. Urine! You can't just hold over this time. Which I'm sure was intentional. Oh, I landed on it. I mistimed that. Death! If I remember correctly, if I do all of these, the only achievement I won't have is the one for beating it on hard mode, and since hard mode has a time limit, I'm okay with that. Uh. Well done! This is actually very clever! I mean, I still win. Oh, no! I actually didn't mean to go down there. I sort of slipped off with my own momentum. Or, I don't know. I actually thought to myself, well, I shouldn't go down there without the dragon armor. You know what? It's pogo stick time. No! Fuck that guy. I hate that guy. Ah. I feel accomplished, you guys. Achievement unlocked! The Lion Man Stone. Found a charm stone in Lion Man's secret location. I think there is supposed to be some kind of reward for that. Oh, right. I, uh... Dare you. <laughs> Let him bounce. Fucking sure he can. Oh, I'm not sure I can get back, actually. Fair enough. Should I turn this on and then go to the menu? So you can't change the graphics here, but you can change that. Him. 
Thank you! I guess I'll talk to the guy and see what happens. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Huh. I thought there was supposed to be like some special sword or something that they sell you if you do this. Well, there's the uh, password for you. 1-Y-G-U-X-Y-H-Z-R-D-F-Y-W-9. I guess you skip all the bullshit and just run around as a top-tier character. <laughs> You're welcome! Okay, let me look up what the, if there is anything for that, or if it really was just bragging rights. I just wanted to use this jump cut as an opportunity to insert something that's badly needed in the last episode of the series. I'd like to give a uh, very special thank you to Spartan Demon once again. None of this would have been possible without you, since you're the one who gifted me the game in the first place, so thank you, Spartan Demon. I think this is exactly what I needed to cheer me up after uh, the gloomy ending of that last game, and I think it's done a great job of that and it wasn't frustrating the shit out of me. So I hope you enjoyed the series particularly. And before we go... This is the piece of music that stands out most in the game to me, and uh, I'm glad that I got to uh, unlock at the very end the... Uh, the uh, moment it was created. Okay, I looked it up. Uh, pardon me. It's supposed to be in the well. Ah, okay, yeah. You need uh, at least four charm stones to let him sell you this. The Gallic Sword. Striped. Stock up on magical items. And it costs 2017 coins. The latest model. I don't get if there's a joke behind Gallic Sword or not, but it's actually more powerful than the Legendary Sword. Huh, it's equal to uh, the Legendary Sword as human, it's just got that special effect. I do have to question the special effect. However. Apparently, what the Gallic Sword does is that it causes enemies to drop a lot more magic when they die. Yeah, the special items, I guess. Oops. Yeah, sure, let's go to the desert. I don't know. I guess you could probably find four of the stones before you, uh, beat the game. I didn't realize you didn't need all of them. I remember finding that store, I rem and I remember buying a sword there. I just don't remember what he said about the other item on the list. Okay. I guess it's like the lucky sword, except it makes them drop items instead of money. Or, you know, the, uh, the prince armor, except they don't drop hearts. Nope. Fuck you. Well, there you have it. You know what? Okay, the only sword I don't have is the crystal sword, which you get from that uh, shop at the top of the village tower. It doesn't have a special effect. 
Just saying. For the record. And let's see. Armor. Here we go. Uh, I'm missing the samurai armor. Purchased from an underwater shop at the far left of the underwater part of the beach. Only accessible as Piranha Man. No special effects. 1,000 gold. It doesn't actually list their uh, stats here, which is unhelpful. As well as... Oh yeah, and the crystal armor. Okay. No special effect. 3,210 gold. So the only things I was missing are uh, items you can get from the store. You guys want me to go back and get them? I might go back and get them. But, uh... Otherwise... I think we're done here. And, uh... I'm glad that I did come back, because I wouldn't have been satisfied with that ending for, uh... Like, an entire series. I didn't even, you know, get to my recommendation or not. But I always do. Oh, there are trees here. Huh. I just find it interesting that there's no indication at all that this is a nurse's station in the original graphics. Um... I was really confused on whether or not I recommended it or not, to be honest, because... This game has flaws in it. You know, some of them serious. But I feel like all of those flaws would have been things that they would have just accepted back in 1989, when the original game came out. You know, stuff like the game not telling you where to go at any given time, except through extremely obtuse little hints. You know, things like le so leaving the player to figure things out by, you know, themselves. Not something I'm in love with from modern games, but I guess I can accept that from a game from 89. Uh... I did find the game crazy frustrating. But there's a reason that, you know... <laughs> the games back then had that reputation, because people still weren't entirely out of the mindset of, you know, the, making an arcade game brutally difficult so people spend more quarters on it. Thankfully, this was not that bad, but there were bits that felt completely unfair. Holy wow. So I guess this is the proper one, and not this. Um... Oops. In the old days, it would have taken more than six charm stones to impress me. Oh well, congratulations. Yeah, I was really confused by what I read uh, just earlier. Okay, here it is. Charm stone, stone for short, is an item from Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, blah 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 blah. Oh, that's funny. Uh... There was a, uh... The Turbo Graphics 16 version of this game was just released under the title Dragon's Curse. So I was accidentally right that one time and I messed up the intro without realizing it. Ahem! <clears throat> Uh, in the Master System and TurboGrafx-16 versions, each stone is worth one charm point, increasing the value as the player collects them. They can be obtained from enemies and some treasure chests. Uh, in the 2017 Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap, only six stones exist, and each can, be can only be obtained in a hidden area by one of the forms. Collecting the six storm stones will allow the player to buy the Galax Sword, the strongest sword in the remake. 
Charm points are a gameplay element from the Master System and TurboGrafx-16 versions of the game. CP affects the player's charisma, determining which items can be bought in shops. Each form has a base CP, and the equipped armor affects the value. Charm stones also add to the total value. So, I don't know. Lizard Man is the uh, l least charismatic of the forms. Apparently, this little chart here. Hue Man is the most, and Lion Man is the most of the ones you can access before you beat the game. So, you know, there's whatever that is. Congratulations! I did the thing. Here's one last password in case you uh, want to run around in an end game world with nothing left to do. 1YGU XYKZRDENXT. Why they changed that? Probably just felt it was unnecessarily complicated. There we go. Ah, oh, the land is at peace. I've collected all the charm stones, and every one of the dragons is dead. Well, some of them are already dead. Vampire, mummy, and zombie. Three different undead uh, dragons, and a robot dragon. It's just funny to me that, uh, out of six bosses, only two of them were technically alive. Captain Dragon and Daimyo Dragon. Anyway, I would say yes, I recommend this game. You know, if you're into, you know, retro platformers and uh, action games, yes, I recommend this because it's surprisingly deep for a game this old, you know, with uh, the light RPG elements and, you know, new swords and stuff. Uh, the bosses were all really interesting to fight, even if some of them were, uh, yeah, even if some of them just wa varied wildly in difficulty. And, uh... Even if I was frustrated sometimes by the challenges presented to me, or by not knowing where the fuck I was meant to be going. So I would say, as long as you keep in mind, you know, the shortcomings that this game does have, you know, some leftover flaws that were common back in the day. Basically, as long as you understand that this game is from 1989, yes, I would recommend that you play Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap. But now I am well overdue for an outro, so let's just lock ourselves up in Wonder Boy's home. Ah, nice and relaxing in here. Now let's do an outro. I'm Burning Dog Face, and even though they're different forms of the same person, I'd like to thank them individually. <laughs> Just like I'd like to thank you for joining me for Let's Play Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. On behalf of myself, Wonder Boy, Lizard Man, Mouse Man, Piranha Man, Lion Man, and Hawk Man. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I hope you'll join me someday when I, pro when I almost invariably end up playing Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom. And I hope you will join me for my next LP series. Hey, tell you what, I don't normally do this, but here's a hint as to what it is. Oops. Yep, that's it. <laughs> it's Mouse Man. That's the hint. <laughs> uh... I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Till then, have yourselves a great day. Later!